Hi crafters, this is Amy. I am at my mom's house. Um, she lives about 250 miles from me and she's in the hospital. She had some surgery and she's doing fine. She'll be home I think tomorrow and um, while I was here her neighbor some years ago um, her neighbor made these purses and these money pouches and I do have a purse that matches this although this is so ratty and old um, I think this is I don't know probably 15 years ago 10 to 15 years ago and I love this money pouch because you can get into it and it's you know it's a nice size I can actually get my phone in there when I need to carry that but you, as you can see it's um, not in very good shape anymore and I think for two years I have been looking for a replacement and so when I knew I was coming up here to my mom's um, this is my mom's neighbor who makes these um, I asked her about it um, I saw her the other day and although she doesn't make these anymore she actually makes these really cool felted purses now um, but she gave me the pattern to make this one so uh, the pattern is uh, Kimmy's quilts k-i-m-i-e apostrophe s quilts you can still find her things on Amazon and uh, that kind of thing um, her patterns actually focus more on the quilting I don't know if you can see this. The quilting, she's got a, a layout here. Um, if you wanted to like make a tiny quilt and then cut your shape. Um, here's the large pouch and then there's a small pouch. So you know then you would have your um, you know let's say this material here. Let's say I actually quilted this. Then once you get your quilting done um, then you would cut out your shape and make your pouch. I'm not interested in the quilting part of it. Um, so um, I have this material here I found this in my mom's drawer so I am just using this material um, she was making something the part of this material was pinned and um, I just took what looked like a scrap so so last night I made this bag and um, I, I pretty much followed her instructions, although I didn't do as much hand sewing. I actually didn't do any hand sewing on this one. Um, the original one, she hand sewed um, all of the binding and the zipper inside, and uh, I did not do that. I just sewed it. I wasn't really, I didn't really care. You know, I was more looking for the use of it. So. So, because I am here, and my mom's in the hospital, and I'm really here just taking care of her dog and her cat, um, I'm kind of bored. So, I made that one, and then last night, I also made this one, and I did actually finish sewing this up this morning. Now, this one, I should start off, this one, when I sewed this, I used a little bit bigger seams than what it called for, and it did kind of squish it down. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Let's see. Um, yeah, I can't really see that. But anyway, this one is just a little bit... I think it's a little bit wider. And uh, so this one um, I sewed with the, the proper seams. And then I did hand sew the binding inside here. Um, you know I didn't have any fabric or any bindings so in the pattern it tells you how to make these bindings and so that's what I did you cut those on a 45 degree angle um, you would cut them here so that you get that stretch in the material I don't know if you can see that it kind of stretches and you can make it go around <clears throat> okay so I made these two now this one of course I need to get a zipper for and I think I will not hand sew the zipper in. Um, that looked like a lot of work when she did this one. She sewed, I think, two, two times. She sewed along the edge here, and then she sewed along the edge there, and I am not interested in taking that much time. I'm not a big hand sewer, so um, I will just end up, and I'll try to sew a nice straight line here when I sew the zipper in. 
and then you know I um, reinforce it here on the bottom so that's a nice little pouch there so I have a little bit more of this material left and so I was going to attempt to make some of the smaller ones thought they'd be kind of cute they look like they might be kind of tedious as well so I have enough material here I can make two so I I have one piece of material now it, as you can see this one she used contrasting materials um, she used this on the outside and then this uh, check gingham on the inside and uh, I of course don't have different materials so it's all going to be the same I did luck out and get you know this nice pattern material so I am also, now I don't think the pattern calls for it, but I did put quilting in between there, like the original one, there's quilting in there, and I do like that better. I think it'll last a little longer. Uh, so I have um, this quilter's batting. That's what we're putting in there is batting. And so I'm just going to cut a piece, because um, I'm going to fold this in half, and I just need a piece that's half this size. And I'm going to cut it all um, at one time, which is what I did on this one. I, um, this one I cut out the material, then I cut out the batting, and I'm going to do it all in one step. It seemed to work pretty well. So, I just need a chunk of this. It's like this big. And this was very inexpensive. This whole thing of batting was, I think, four dollars. And if I were to make these little purses out of this, I could make, you know, hundreds of them. So we'll just roll that in there, kind of make a little sandwich here. I'll line up best I can. Now it doesn't quite go all the way in there. And of course, I didn't cut it. Either. Okay, now I have enough. I can cut two. Of these. So I will pin this and cut it out. Okay. All right, I'll pin this and cut it out as a little sandwich here. Okay, so we got that cut out, and the next thing we need is we need the, um, the binding. 